Well, we looked at the map and thought that it would be a good idea if Seoul, the capital of Korea, were in our zone of occupation. But we knew that the army would not want us to go very far beyond that, and so we looked north of Korea, and there was no clearly distinguishing geographic feature, but there was a 38th parallel. And so uh, we came back and suggested that. What none of us there at that meeting from the State Department or the Army knew was that earlier in the century there had been discussions between the Russians and the Japanese about a division of a sphere of influence in Korea along the 38th parallel. Had we known that, we would have selected any other dividing line. Actually, they accepted the 38th parallel with alacrity. Well, Dean Acheson was a brilliant man. Uh, his interests really were concentrated in the North Atlantic in terms of his own strong sense of personal commitment. After all, he had played a large role in the building of the Marshall Plan and the construction of NATO, and, and from a geopolitical point of view, one can understand why this North Atlantic relationship was looked upon as fundamental. He had less interest in the little yellow, brown, black people in various parts of the earth. Dean Acheson's press club speech was very important, not so much for what it exactly said, but how it was interpreted. Well, he described the, uh, our defense perimeter in the Pacific, and he left uh, Korea out of that perimeter. And his speech was widely interpreted as uh, writing off Korea. We were disarmed. NSC 68 represented a major decision by the United States to begin to build up its armed forces again. And uh, I think the Korean attack and the Korean War uh, simply confirmed what was already uh, being discussed as a necessity if we were to maintain some peace in the world.